This week's episode of Bariatric TV is sponsored by Bariatric Advantage, the most complete line of micronutrient replacements specifically designed for the weight loss surgery patient. Help support the show by ordering your Bariatric Advantage products directly from the BTV eStore. This week's episode of Bariatric TV is brought to you by Building Blocks Vitamins. Offering a complete line of bariatric specific vitamins and minerals created to address the malabsorptive and restrictive effects of bariatric surgery. Click on this ad to order your free samples today. Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Linda. What's shaking bacon for this week? Mmm, bacon. I like bacon. Bacon. How about a drop zone freak with one powerful sentence? A new segment that covers things from soup to nuts. You'll get it in a minute. But I don't like fish. A quick tip. Always eating too much? And a calcium review just for you. Now, away we go! In this week's Drop Zone segment, it's gonna be quick. Why is that? Because we asked for one sentence, and we got one sentence, and it's a powerful one too. This week's DZF is Trudy, and her reason why she chose to have weight loss surgery is this. I am glad I had WLS because it was a tool I needed to get out of this wheelchair and enjoy my life with my husband and family. Congrats. 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 Congrats, Trudy. <laughs> nice. What the hell was that? <laughs> Congrats, Trudy, and don't forget to email your mailing address to us at feedback at bariatrictv.com so we can have the folks over at Big Train send some tasty protein your way. And I hope that some of you are also heading over to the Big Train site at bigtrain.com to give their Fit Fat Pay a try. Go ahead and order up some. It's a great way to say thanks to them for sponsoring the Drop Zone. And now, on to another brand new segment here at BTV. Hey folks, welcome to another new segment for 2012. We had a lot of requests for a segment focusing on the different stages of weight loss surgery. Things like researching the different types of surgery. Things like advice for those first few days after you get approved for surgery. You know, the angsting over what to take to the hospital and how many days it'll take to recover. Did you say days? Okay, days, weeks, or months it'll take to recover. We'll also throw in some advice on what to expect over the first year. And for you long-termers, some insight into maintenance and regain. So if you're looking for help that's specific to the stage that you're in, this segment will be the place for that. And during this first ever Soup to Nuts episode, we will kick it off with something for you pre-ops by asking, how do you know if weight loss surgery is right for you? And the answer is... Research, of course. Your research will not only tell you if surgery is right for you, but which surgery is the right one. For those of you that don't know, there are four commonly performed types of weight loss surgery. Band, pouch, switch, and sleeve. Most are familiar with the lap band and the gastric bypass. But if you've never heard of a switch or a sleeve, then you got some researching to do, my freaky friends. So here's your first tip on where to research. The first place we suggest is, well, you're already here. Early on in the history of BTV, dun dun dun! As we go to the BTV newsreel. <laughs> Early on in the history of BTV, we did shows that highlighted the different types of surgery. To find them, just click up there somewhere on the video categories menu and then scroll down to surgery types and then click on it. Now, if you're watching on YouTube or watching the podcast version, you'll need to go to bariatrictv.com for all that to make sense. In these episodes, we even covered some of the less common forms of surgery like the toga procedure or the vertical banded gastroplasty. And we covered some revision surgeries like stomafix. Revision? Revision. Revision. Now have another drink, please. Another great resource is a... Resource? Well, that's kind it's of like... Resource it's resource and research. That you're it's a research. It's a research. Nice. Research. It's a new word. Another great resource is our forums at bariatrictv.com forward slash forum. Lots of good information out there for you freaks and freaks to be. You just need to look for it or ask questions. So hop on over to our forum and ask away. <laughs> I like that. I like the hopping. And there you have it, our first soup to nuts. Keep checking back as we'll be offering up tons of informative little tidbits in the coming weeks and months. And of course, if you have questions regarding where you're at in your WLS timeline, please send it our way at feedback at bariatrictv.com. I used timeline because journey seems to be so overused. Yeah, I'm tired these days. of journey. In your weight loss surgery 
Sahara Crossing. <laughs> This week's quick tip is brought to you by btvstore.com, where you can get your favorite bariatric products and help support the show. Did you find early out that you suffer from that one bite too many syndrome? Did you find that further out you feel like you're eating too much? Well then it's time to make the measuring cups, right here, your best friend. Early out, try sticking with a half a cup portion. Later on, move up slowly till you get to about a cup. This can show you all that you should be eating in one sitting. Not only does it help to prevent you from overfilling your pouch, but it will also train you to eat a nice sized portion and no more. This is a habit we all need to develop. The fun part could be in finding a fun measuring cup. Start a collection. I think I'll take this one. Now, back to BTV. Welcome to Altered Reality. Today, we're gonna talk about fish baby. But I don't like fish. I've never liked fish, and I will never like fish. Why is fish good for us freaks? As you know, we have to get in a ton of protein after surgery, and fish is an excellent source of that. But I don't like fish. It also comes with a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which have tons of benefits ranging from boosting your immunity to improving your joints, to lowering the old blood pressure. But I really don't like fish, not even tuna. And really, it's all about how you cook it. When we say fish, we don't mean the deep fried and battered kind, although that's most excellent. Oftentimes, you can add enough flavor and seasonings that you barely get that fishy taste. Lots of excellent recipes out there on the interwebs, and the fishy taste often just comes from the smell. Counteract that, and you have a light, delicious, lean protein. And you can counteract it with some beer batter and deep frying that sucker and slathering it in HP sauce, baby. See, if you pinch your nose closed, you won't even taste it. Oh, and I really hate the smell of cooking fish. Ugh. Uh, hmm. Did you know that if you boil water with a little vinegar the same time that you're cooking the fish, it will help get rid of the odors? And squeezing a lemon on top of the fish will help get rid of the smell. But I don't like fish. Hey, wait a minute there. What the hell are you eating right now? Oh, that? That's sushi. That's not fish. Uh, yeah, it is, darling. But well, I like this. And in fact, I love it. Hey, I guess what they say is true. Your taste buds really do change after surgery because now I love sushi. Freaks, even if you didn't like fish before surgery, give it some time. Your taste buds really do change after surgery. Mmm, but I still don't like fish. <laughs> like how it's slowly falling away. <laughs> Welcome to the Freak On segment. And as that graphic you just saw stated, one of the things this segment is all about is crap we like. And there's one thing we like more than anything else. Shopping. No. Uh -huh. I've checked and double checked and I'm pretty sure it's shopping. No, it's not shopping. Uh, then it's shopping with someone else's money. No, well, yes, but no. Well then what is it? Sponsors. And we like them because they give us money, which means we can go shopping. Well, yeah, but we also love them because they make great products for those of us that had weight loss surgery. Very true. See, when I had my surgery over eight years ago, the product pickings were pretty slim. And most of them, not so tasty. Mm -mm. But all that has changed. And this week, we're going to introduce you to a very tasty product from one of our wonderful sponsors. And that product is Building Blocks Vitamins Calcium. And actually, product is the wrong word. We should say products, because they have four of them. So let's start with a capsule. If you're not a fan of chewables, then capsules are for you. No fuss, no muss, just one quick swallow and you're done. The daily dose is six capsules, and in that daily dose you get 1,000 milligrams of calcium citrate, 600 IUs of vitamin D, and 200 milligrams of magnesium. And as far as taste goes, well they taste just like whatever you're drinking. How about that? For me, I like the chewables, and the first chewable I'll introduce you to is their chocolate chewable. Each daily dose of four chewables contains 100 milligrams of calcium citrate, 600 IUs of vitamin D, and 200 milligrams of magnesium. But how does it taste, you ask? It tastes kind of like hot cocoa. And that's even after eating sushi. Oh, it's good. Definitely hot cocoa. 
This chewable also comes in a citrus flavor with the same dosage of four chewables a day. I'm just too busy to deal with four chewables a day. What you got for a busy gal like me? Here, try this one, busy girl. Hey, Building Blocks Black Raspberry Calcium Chew has a daily dose of just two chewables. That's more my speed. It gives you 1,200 milligrams of calcium, 800 IUs of vitamin D, and 400 milligrams of magnesium. Let's try them. Let's check them out, shall we? Can you hear it? They're crunchy. Mm. Well, it takes a little longer to chew them. You know why? Because you only need two a day. Right. And they're this size. About the size of an eyeball, if you're an anime character. But they're good. There's, they're not chalky, and they do taste like black raspberry. They're so tasty, too. <laughs> and remember, freaks, don't take your calcium and iron at the same time. You have to space those out to get the full effect. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, self, where can a gal like me go to get some of these tasty calcium supplements? Hmm? Just click on the Building Blocks banner on our website and you'll be whisked away through the endless tubes of the interwebs where you'll find the Building Blocks website. There, my friends, you can order till your heart's content. And we encourage you to do just that because ordering from them keeps them sponsoring the show. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this week's show. Be sure to check in next week. We'll be talking about the upcoming WLSFA meet and greet in Vegas, baby. And I have a recipe to make for Valentine's Day that is yummy. Yummy. And please remember to click on one of the banner ads on our site and order up some goods from one of our sponsors. Your support of our sponsors is what keeps these shows coming. See you next week. No fuss, no muss, just one quick swallow and you're done. That's what she said! Oh. Knew that was coming. Did you know that if you boil water, water, <laughs> water, bloopers galore, but I don't like fish. Aren't you supposed to be having sushi right now? <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs>